Ang daming nagantay sa sasakyan na ito at finally, nandito na, dumating na ang espresso in two-pedal form. Kinilin nyo yan, di ba? Bumili kayo. Ayun, baka so, naman puro kayo ngaungaw lang. Ngayong dinala na ni Suzuki Philippines. Saba, punta na, bili na, di ba? Okay, be careful for what you wish for. Yan. Teka, ano mm. bang bago dito? Well, maraming bago dyan. Ang pinaka-prominent na bago dyan, Boss Jacob, is that the Espresso now comes with auto gear shift, mm. which is Suzuki Philip, which is Suzuki's technology na automated manual. Oh. Maga, manual mechanism, pero automated or electronic yung actuator. Yan. So, para hindi mo na kailangan mag-clutch. Oh, okay. Tingnan pa natin na up -up. Ba? Feel kotse na. Okay, bago tayo magsimula, pansin ko pare, boss, parang tumangkad ka na onte. Pare kasi. Na. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> may platform ba? Eh? <laughs> Ay, oo nga, may platform. Pero yun, natanong kanina ni Boss Jacob kung ano ba ang bago dito sa espresso. Hmm. At ayan na yun. Ito. Oo. Oh. Uh, ito? Ilaw? Hindi, hindi, hindi! Yung pintura! Kulay! Ah, Anong kulay ito? Sabay okay. tayo. One, two, three! Metallic, Metallic granite gray. gray! So, wala na yung blue. Yung sobrang sikat na color yun kasi blue eh. Kitang-kita mo siya lagi. Yes. And this is the replacement color which is... Yun. Metallic, Metallic granite, granite gray. gray. Loob naman. Loob naman tayo para makita natin kasi dun yung maraming updates kay oh. Espresso. Feeling ko, ano? Feeling ko yung stick. Isa yun, oo. <laughs> Tsaka bawas sa isang pedal. Tignan oh, na lang natin, that. boss. Tara, tara. So, ano nga ba ang meron dito sa bagong espresso? From the outside, it looks the same as before. That's because all improvements ay nasa cabin. Sabi nga kanina, may automatic na ang espresso. Kaya two pedals na lang dito and a new shifter. Pero meron na din ditong bagong touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Tinalo pa ang selerio. May overhead microphone din probably for voice commands sa phone. Sa steering wheel, may buttons na din for audio and phone. Dito sa gauge cluster ay may gear indicator na. At ang pinakamatutuwa kayo, may power adjustment na for the side mirror. Nag-improve din ang espresso sa tech. Meron na itong engine auto start-stop, stability program at ang espresso AGS ay may heel hold control. Pero na-drive ko na before ang Suzuki Espresso AGS. Color red nga rin yun at baka yan mismo yung namaneho ko doon sa Autofocus Summer Test Drive Festival. Wait, kaya naman, huwag na natin patagalin pa. Ito ang aking driving impressions sa Suzuki Espresso AGS. And I'm Martin Aguilar. Dito na nga tayo, no, driving the all-new, hindi naman all-new, the Suzuki Espresso AGS. Kung baga, tagal nyo naghahanap ng automatic version ng Espresso, eto na, dinala na ng Suzuki para sa inyo. And it's powered by a 1-liter KC10 gasoline engine, which is the same engine na nakakabit doon sa bagong Celerio, which was launched last year. In terms of power delivery, it delivers 67 horsepower and 90 newton meters of torque. And then the engine is connected to Suzuki's very own automatic gear shift. Mamaya, we'll more on that later. Ito, dadaan tayo ngayon sa test course dito. No? Parang may mga tumimik the lubax. Ayan, tingnan natin. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yun, kita nyo naman. As expected, no, medyo medyo merong mafi-feel kang tod kasi it's intentional. Eh, para mo feel mo yung ride comfort dito sa sasakyan na to. Pero nung na-drive natin dati yung espresso na, na manual version, it's the same. Eh. Yung suspension nitong espresso is still leaning towards the firm side. But then again, it's already expected for cars like this. And yung size niya is perfect lalo na kung gagamitin mo yung sasakyan na ito on a daily sa urban jungle. Then when it comes to acceleration, okay pa din naman tayo. And then yun, yung AGS, yung automatic gear shift na sinasabi natin is that hindi siya yung typical na Cork Converter Automatics or CVTs na nakasanayan na natin on how we drive. No? Kumbaga, how you treat this car is like 
automated manual. Kung baga, may actuator yung AGS. So, yun, yung AGS, merong actuator yung system na yun, which allows Suzuki to eliminate the use of the third pedal, yung for the clutch. Kung baga, AGS simply says or simply does the shifting for you. So, in that sense, kailangan, pag drive mo tong Express or any other Suzuki cars with AGS, kailangan isipin mo na parang naka-manual ka pa din. In that sense, tatansyahin mo kung kailan pinakamagandang iangat yung paa mo para mag-shift to higher gear yung sasakyan. So, yun nga, no? sa una, medyo may jarring effect pa din kasi nga, it's not the usual torque converter or CVTs that we know. So, kailangan tansyahin mo pa rin siya para mas maging maganda yung shifting mo. So, in terms of handling naman ng steering wheel, yes, it's light. Yun yung maganda naman sa Suzuki cars, no? specifically dito sa Espresso. In that sense, medyo hindi ka masyadong mapapagod kapag ka magda-drive ka around the city kasi bukod sa size niyang maliit, magaang pa yung manibela niya. Aba, ewan ko na lang kung hindi ka pa maging komportable sa syudad kapag kaganto. Tapos, naka-AGS pa, di ba? Which is what Suzuki fans are asking for dito sa Suzuki Philippines. Tapos, ito pang maganda dito eh, no? Aside from the light steering, yung visibility niya sa harap, it's okay. Maganda yung forward visibility, pati yung side yung side visuals mo is okay. Kasi nga, ano lang siya eh, it's a pint-size hatchback eh. So, kitang-kita mo yung sides mo at wala masyadong blind spot. And then one thing that I like the most dito sa Suzuki Espresso AGS is that bukod dun sa AGS technology, nilagyan na rin ni Suzuki Philippines ng engine auto start-stop system, itong sasakyan na ito. What the engine auto start-stop do is that kapag ka nag-full stop ka, gaya ang ginagawa ko ngayon, it will automatically shut down the engine. So in that sense, and in theory, mas makakatipid ka sa konsumo mo sa gasolina. Pero for the full fuel eco consumption, malalaman yan sa full review natin dito sa fuel kotse. Pero yun lang, pinapasabi lang natin na it, this, that this car already comes with that kind of technology. Which is, by the way, present then sa Suzuki Riga Hybrid, sa Suzuki Celerio, tsaka sa Suzuki Desire when I tested that car, meron din yun doon. Aside from those things na sinabi ko, maganda pa dito is that meron na rin updated touchscreen itong Espresso AGS. And, ito yung isa niyong inaantay, wala nang Bluetooth. Well, may Bluetooth pa rin to, pero mas maganda na to kasi it's already integrated with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So, kung ikaw yung waste dependent na tao, tas mahilig mag-Spotify while you're driving around the city, e eh, panalo na, kuwang-kuwa ka nitong Suzuki Espresso AGS. Yun yung maganda sa Suzuki Philippines, eh, no? aside, hindi lang nila dinala yung automatic version ni Espresso, they also added some bits para mas ma-convince or para mas ma-lure or ma-attract yung mga potential car buyers. Ba? May Apple CarPlay na at Android Auto. May AGS ka pa. May engine auto start-stop pa. Saan ka pa, di ba? Tapos with safety features, meron din itong dual airbags, heel hold control, electronic stability con program. So in, in all sense, in all aspects, this car is loaded. Di ba? Considering the price point of this vehicle, which is 660,000 pesos. 40,000 peso more lang compared dun sa manual transmission variant nitong Espresso AGS. So, no, dito sa short time natin driving around MOA, yun yung mga initial impressions na maikita ko. Yes, andun pa rin yung medyo medyo may sinok, kumbaga, other term for jarring, medyo may sinok. Kasi nga, it's an AGS, it's not the typical torque converter automatic na or CVT na alam natin. Kumbaga, kailangan mo lang isipin when you're driving the Espresso, it's an automated manual. The AGS may actuator yon na yun yung nag-change ng gears for you, which allows Suzuki to eliminate the use of the third pedal. So, yun. In that sense, goods ka na. And, wala na, ma wala na akong madagdag masyado, which is, everything's all the same naman compared to the compared to the old espresso that we have driven before. No? Yung labas, yung loob, it's the same layout. Well, except for the updated infotainment touchscreen. Tapos isa pa dito is that, andito pa rin yung controls natin for the window. And then, yeah, andito pa rin yung... At may manual mode pala to para you can dictate the gears in case you want. Kundi kung para pwede ka mag-upshift or downshift, tang ikaw na, na hindi mo na inaantay yung AGS system ni Suzuki Espresso. So, you know, all in all, my first impressions dito sa kotse na to is that nasagot ni Suzuki yung mga clamor ng tao. Kasi for the longest time, people who wants to buy an espresso is sort of medyo nag-aalangan nag sila eh. Kasi there's no, there's no automatic transmission available. But that is not the story today. Kasi eto na, dumating na yung Suzuki Espresso AGS. 
at 660,000 pesos ang presyo nito. Uh, ayun, paano ba yan? Back to me! So, yun na nga. Yun na nga. Mm -hmm. Grabe ang ginawa ng Suzuki dito sa Espresso, no, boss? Mm -hmm. Nakuhusan pa ang selerio dahil oh, may oh. Apple CarPlay ito at saka Android so, yeah. Auto. Mm -hmm. Yung Apple CarPlay. Yes, pero may tanong ako sa'yo, boss. Mm. Magkano ba yung bagong Espresso? AGS, ha? Oh, the Suzuki Espresso AGS is priced at 660,000 pesos. Yeah, mm -hmm. 660. Eh, yung Magkano manual. Magkano difference? 620 yung manual, eh, no? Magkano? Ah, ikaw na lang, science high school kasi siya. <laughs> Hindi, ano, 40,000 pesos. Yun ang difference. Ganun pala yung tamang formula. Oh, Mali yung turo sa amin, technical school. <laughs> Pero very enticing no, for a cute and small car. Kaya naman, ano pang inaantay nyo? Gaya nga nasabi natin kanina, eh, matagal nyo inantay itong kotse oh. na to. Ngayon, nandito na. Oh, hiniling nyo eh. Bumili kayo. Bumili kayo. Diba? Yan na yan. Yan na yung Matic hmm. Espresso. Oh. Diba? No more complaints. It's now here. Answer the call. <laughs> so yun, ako si Martin Nagrar, yung Cambio Boy next door. Kasama My ko si... Jacob Oliva, ang Head of Content and Video, PhilCoche.com. Ayun, don't forget to like and subscribe to PhilCoche's YouTube channel. Click that bell icon para lagi kayo una sa mga latest happenings in the motoring industry. Okay, paano ba? Kita kayo sa lang sa next video. Bye-bye. Tara, kakape pa kami. Alak. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For the latest news, reviews, and anything you want to know about cars and car ownership, visit philcoche.com. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify para hindi ka huli sa usapan. Tandaan, kotse ba? Philcoche na!